In this video, we'll show how to create a scheduled task in Windows 10 for a Click Once application created in Visual Studio. We want our application to know if it's running as a scheduled task or just manually, so we're going to be looking for an argument called scheduled task. Sometimes in Visual Studio Code, you'll end up using activation data to get arguments but that's for another video. In this case, we're going to use simple git command line args, and I'll show how we accomplish that when we create the scheduled task. We also need to see one other thing in the Visual Studio Publish portion here um, for options. You'll notice that my publisher name is Kenneth Smith. And the product name here uh, for downloading Stage 3 MRS documents is the name of my Visual Studio application. Let's launch Task Scheduler and see how we do all this. Um, I've already created a folder, Ken Tasks. If you wanted to create your own, you can go up here, right click it, and create a new folder. And just give it any name you want. I created Ken Tasks. And so in my Ken Tasks, I already have three um, tests. So we're going to create a new task now so you can see it from start to finish. So let's create a basic task. And we'll give it the name Ken Task 4 and Ken task 4. You'd obviously give these more meaningful names in production. We want it to run daily in our case, um, every day at perhaps uh, 2, um, 2 p.m. maybe. So this is good. It'll run every day at uh, 2 p.m. And we wanted to start a program, and this is where it gets interesting for Click Once applications. So we've got to enter the program, our program script. Well, let's browse, and this remembers where I browsed, so that's nice, because this is really in our app data, my my user app data folder, roaming, Microsoft Windows Start Menu Programs. Kenneth Smith, you remember, is the publisher name that I gave all these things. And there's the application we want to run. And you notice it's really a shortcut. But OK, this is what we want. We've gone to the roaming, all this stuff, down to this where I published. Here it is. Let's open this up. And look, it's, it's made this thing to the app data local apps 2.0 and all this and all that. And that's perfect. This is exactly what it's going to work and run. And now we want to put in our argument, scheduled task. So this argument will be passed when the application is run. And let's click Next. And we're pretty much done here. I'll open up the properties when we finish. So now we could step through all these properties and make sure everything is good. Um, the triggers, it's going to run at 2 p.m. every day. Here's the application it's going to run. And way at the right there, way you might see the scheduled task argument. I'll hover over it once more. Scheduled task is actually on there. And so this is looking very good. This should run that task every day. Now, I mentioned earlier that I'd show you those two uh, Windows File Explorers, and here you can see my Ken App Data roaming all the way down here to Start Menu Programs, the Kenneth Smith. This is where we ended up browsing to in, in the Task Scheduler, and it ended up choosing this from the App Data Local Apps 2.0, blah, 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 all the way down to the program that we're really going to run. So our Ken Task 4 is set to run every day at 2 p.m. 
and we're all set to go. Have a good day.